Prince uh, Kiri. I'm doing a uh, a little production tonight with my brother PE 770 embroidery only, and um, uh, I'm making sort of a Halloween uh, a decoration. Uh, I have the hoop ready. Uh, I have uh, a, um, a stabilizer on it, and I have. Uh, the fabric, uh, I'm using a white, uh, it's a denim, a cotton, and I have the sulky water-soluble stabilizer on the top. And I, ha I, have, I have my two monitors uh, set up, or actually the one monitor where I could uh, watch my two cameras. I, I take two different views as I'm uh, um, doing the film. I, I picked all my threads out and I'm going to going to show you from scratch taking a uh, design off a USB into the machine. All right, stand by for the production rinse I carry. Okay, cameras are rolling and let me start this. To begin with, um, I took out, took this bobbin out, it, it, uh, half, uh, even though you could do something with it, uh, I took it out. I don't like to get stuck in the middle. Now, <clears throat> I'll try not to get in the way of the camera here. So I got a fresh bobbin and, and I use the, I use, I use my, I use pre-wound. Okay, now the bobbin turns counterclockwise. There is a little um, picture, a little icon into the plastic here. And uh, you put the bobbin down in the hole. There's a groove this way. You put the thread into that groove. There's an arrow. You bring it up into a channel. There's a channel. I'm bringing it around the channel. The spool is unwinding counterclockwise. This cuts it. Okay, so now we put the little door back on the machine. A little see through door. The thread's in position. So now I have a USB over here. And uh, I'm just going to switch my camera. I want to see the view of with the other camera just to make sure. All right, uh, I have the USB in position. Right over here. And uh, just go back to that. And uh, this little icon here shows you that I want to read what's on the USB. You press that. There's a couple of images on here. Now, um, I recognize them by, by the silhouette. like that one there. No, it's not that one. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit this, highlight it, and then I'm gonna hit the little pocket. Come out of the pocket. Okay, so it starts off telling me that there's 12 thread changes. It's embroidery thread style. So what does that mean? I've got an embroidery machine. I mean, what does that have to do with anything? What it does have to do with, if you go, for example, to this page icon, and and you, uh, uh, right now it says embroidery, it says one, two, three. Now, what does that have to do with anything? All right. 
sometimes you get the machine it's not set up that way you could have or you could select country sorry you get confused when you're line selecting this directly is in line with the name country okay number system with the word country then you got uh, Madeira Poly, uh, Madeira Rayon. You got your Sulkies, which I have over there, but I don't have a full set. And then, and then the RA, uh, which is uh, Robinson Anton system, and that gives you numbers. Okay, so let's go back to embroidery. That's what that means. So. Now, here is the unloaded uh, design. It's a Halloween design. And it's asking for thread number 512. So the threads I use are numbered. Nobody said nothing. I said 512. It's 515. All right. Then correct it. Now the these threads, like like most of them, have in the back, like for example, you could unlock this. See what like I just did? Okay. And the purpose of that is to capture the thread. All right. Now uh, the the brothers machine, in fact, most machines, they come with uh, a deal like this that helps guide the thread, so it doesn't get caught around the uh, spool pin. I don't use it. Alright. With this particular thread, I use it with the sulky. So now we're gonna we wanna thread this. So one number one comes down. This whole deal here. Up the two comes over, down, three, up through three, over four, down to five. Then six is a little, uh, a little metal standoff, like a little finger, and you have to pull the thread, and it sort of snaps in. Then you go, you go to seven, which is here, and that leads you right into the cutter for the thread. I just cut the thread, and of course, and it fell out. It has to stay in. Uh, that number seven little slot over here. Just let me check this camera on my right. My, uh, go to my input. Uh, uh, I just want to make sure that the other camera is picking up everything that, uh, okay. All right, you can see my screen and uh, a little closer on that other camera okay so go back to input all right so now um, I got my main camera on my left going in fact they're both going so I got the green up in there I brought it down now to uh, thread the needle you bring this down smartly I say you could hear it see it comes down and it snaps the spring allows it to snap now I'm using a nice very nice tweezer well made it's made by the uh, the, uh, uh gets grits gets they make needles and it's the long arm 3700 model and once you you squeeze it and, you, and then you can let go in other words you just squeeze it to open it and then you let go and it holds what you got all right so I got this here I got the the sulky salvi on the top uh, I did this I did this one last night it was the, the same fabric and I used the uh, the solver on the top. Right. 
this last night's one drop. So now I got this tight, it's in, got my needle threaded, I got the red light, that means the presser foot is up. If you have to, you could lift the presser foot higher, about 3 sixteenths of an inch against the spring. So now bring it down, I'll line up the two rivets. I'm trying to keep my head from my glasses getting in the way. I, I see it on my monitor. All right, so now let's go. Uh, I need a green light, which means I got to bring the presser foot down. Green light. Now what I do, I do a couple of stitches because the book says to put the thread through the, the eye in the presser foot, the hole in the presser foot, which I don't do. It takes too, it takes too much time. I make the stitch go a little bit, and then what I do is, all right, it locked in the bobbin thread, and what I do is I just, I just clip um, it because, especially with dark colors, the dark color sometimes if it's laying, if you got a thread laying, and then you do a yellow over it or a white. The thread shows. So it's a good idea to, uh, you know, it's not like a jump stitch that's out in the open. Oh, look at this. That's all it did. That's all it wanted. Wow. All right. And two, now it's asking for another color. All right. So what I do, what I do is um, it cut it there down there already. So I cut it up here. All right. Clip that. And the first step, what you can do. Is you pull up oh, I got a green light you need a red light why because the tension washes open with the red light see right in right in here it has tension washes so you'll find yourself doing that all the time so now the green comes off and try to be neat with your thread for the next person which is probably you. All right, bring this in the groove, all right, like that, and then and then uh, you could put it uh, out of the way, indicating that you used it already. Now it's X in for an eight ten, okay? Light lilac. I like this color. I used to have a shirt like that. All right, so put this on the top. And look at this, I'm still in the groove. Got to get out of the groove. Now up one, up to two, over the top, down to three, up to four, down to five. Uh, pull it into the little finger uh, over the needle bar. Clip this. All right. Now thread the needle. All right through. Okay. Bring bring about a good six inches of thread through because when the needle goes down and up, it could pull that thread. And wrap it around the bobbin. You now need a green light. Go. Okay. Did so many stitches. two now the second 15 minutes now, now some designs <clears throat> the ones built into the machine as it's stitching out will give you the stitch count over here 
and you'll see the stitch count will be a slash bar and the active stitch for that color and then and then the total stitches for that the whole total design. Okay, so now uh, I'm done with that. It's asking for an 800, but you know, let's do business over here first. Clip this red light, which is press your foot up. Uh, pull out your cut thread. Okay, just dispose of it. Uh, bring your bring your, bring your thread out. All right, threads out. Put it to the, to the top. And now we need to be talking eight hundred, which I happen to know is red. It's a nice red. Okay, my thread's out. This goes up there. Over one. Down. Up to two. Over two. Down to three. Up three. Over to four. Down to five. Six is over the needle bar. Pull it. You might not even hear that little snap that it makes. Alright, I cut my piece of thread off. In the green light, uh, thread the needle, all right, shut it right through, pull out, oh, I can't pull it out, you need a red light to pull it out, which opens up your, your washes on your upper tension, all right, I got a, mm, about six inches there, now you, now you need a green light. So, a couple of stitches, the thread gets shorter, I right, leave it right there, clip it, all right, take it out of the way, green light, go. See that's a jump stitch. We got a, a violet jump stitch. What some people do is they cut all the jump stitches. It takes a couple of more seconds. You don't want to leave that, even the jump stitch, in the event it puts white a white over everything. Okay, so that's uh, asking for four now so let me cut this I need a red light to open up the tension deals and bring this out the cut thread throw it in your waist um, see at this point I can get right in there with this long ginger ginger uh, snips that I have here it's a special one that I bought. Extra long. It fits even a man's fingers. Uh, okay, so um, now it's asking for a different color, right? I'll put this away. Put my red around the little thread holder. Alright. It's asking for a two. 14. See? 214. Okay. That goes here. Alright. Uh, bring, bring it to one. First. Down. Under this bar. Up. Two over two. Down to three. Up three to four down four to five and then six is over the needle bar went in and right now seven is right here and then you clip it carefully 
All right, it's cut. Now I could bring this down the thread, shut right through. All right, uh, I need a green light to continue. Now, at this point, I got 20 more minutes. At this point, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say something. I'm going to say something. Uh, this auto threader, it's happened on three machines I had. I had, this is my third PE770. Right? And the one on my right, it's another brother, the Innovis 2800 Delta. Now, all of these, even one that I sold to a lady on eBay, uh, when she got the machine and I packed it so well, not realizing that this deal right here that I'm sort of showing, this deal that's coming down, not not the white part, but the the stuff underneath. There's three parts. There's three parts under there, and uh, all three parts fell off because it slipped off the shaft. There's a shaft. Uh, there's a shaft right under here, and there's no lock or anything, so it slipped off. So my suggestion is. Because when you put it back, once you align the three parts up, you push up on the mechanism. Every so often, if you're doing 45 thread changes, it could fall off on you. And you're going to have three parts. And I'm telling you, and it's uh, I'm an aircraft mechanic, and it took me a little, little while to figure out what the heck they were for. All right, so uh, it's asking for... The 214, which I got in there, I got a green light. And it just did a jump stitch. All right, I'm gonna get rid of that, boy. That's sloppy, I mean, did a jump stitch here. Did one little stitch on the other side. All right, pull this out. Wow.
I recommend. Uh, I haven't used this yet on this machine, but uh, once one time I was out this cam here. This cam, sometimes when they ship them, the cam is is one little screw there, and, and you could actually move this cam one way or the other, and it would affect the, the um, how much thread goes on the bobbin. You might not get enough. Now, now, these other colors that go on. It's a very, a very good machine. I highly recommend them. Of all the videos I have, and I have two, over 280, this is my most popular worldwide. Mostly in the United States, Brazil, um, Germany, Taiwan. Those are some of the, the big users of this particular brother. And this is an embroidery only, of course. It's all it will do. Do monograms, do lettering. Last night, it goes very nice on velvet. Also, this would have to be washed out. Just, uh, I use what they call tear and wash. Here's, here's the large hoop, and using this particular font, that's the size of the letter, medium and, and uh, small of, of this particular font. Big hoop I just showed you, a 5x12 hoop. I'm using 5x7, this comes with a machine. This designs uh, around 4x4. Now you can see how nice this is coming off even without the washer on. That's a jump start stitch over there. Get rid of that jump stitch. I got, I got a lot of.
of projects that you can still see the jump stitch on the neat. Now this is a Halloween decoration. See, when something like this is done by the, the uh, digitizing artist, I think this is this is done in uh, Willcom software, which I have, but I'm no good at it. The, the, the Brother PE Design Next, I'm able to uh, move around sort of comfortably in it. But anyway, the digital the digital artist, you see the rendering using the same color of red how by changing the, the stitch angles same thing with the leaves gives you the effect of shape of three dimension and that is done by the software and uh, the software digitize the software you got the you got the, the graphic mode which is a green leaf, when you go into the digitizing mode, you actually see the threads. And then, and then you could angle portion of the thread, angle it to give the illusion. Well, actually, you could feel it. You could actually feel it. It's more than an illusion. It's like, you know, maybe it'll go over it several times to give uh, a convex where it would reflect the light okay so on that note uh oh I jumped I hit my camera here the one on the left didn't budge but the people watching the one on the right all right so clip it up here right um, it's clipped already down there you need a green uh, you need a red light in order to pull the thread past the um, um, thread uh, washes, tension washes. I'm, I'm clipping off my jump stitch, getting it out of the way. Got one there, one over here. Sometimes it's easier to do it here than when you see it and it's under something. Okay. Now, um, take this out. It's asking for 208 now. Three or four down, five, six into the, the little uh, guide over the needle bar. Seven, cut it. Okay, thread it. Run right through. Six inches there. Pull that 
an airplane up there. I'm an old aircraft mechanic. I'm old, of course, at 72, but I'm aircraft mechanic 48 and a half years. So I've been around the block a couple of times. Okay, here we go. They made two stitches and they made a jump stitch right across the whole thing. I take offense to that. That jump stitch. Two stitches and a jump stitch. About three inches. Just for whatever. It must be a joke that the digitizer did. Alright, green, go. Take this, clip it off, bring up press or foot, get it the red light. Don't forget to take the thread out. Because if you don't, the thread's still in the uh, in the tension wheels up there. And you couldn't wind up with two threads side by side. And it might jam up your work. A bit, you know. So now, now it's asking for two o five. All right. Okay. So we go into one. Down. Up to two. Over. Down to three. Up three. Over to four. Down to five. Six over the needle bar, pull to the left. Three seven, clip it. Okay, bring down your auto threader. Pull your thread. You could do it because you got a red red light. Tension washers are released. Now you need to stitch a green light. All right, a couple of stitches. Let me cut that little two dad off. All right. You gotta be careful you don't cut the thread in the needle. No. So. It does happen. The third part right now, 39 minutes. This, uh, I bought this design off embroiderydesigns.com and it cost me 10 bucks. It's mine to use. You're not supposed to alter it though. You know, you can put a name underneath, put a name underneath, but you're not supposed to alter the design because it's copyright. 
um, and it's available in the different formats uh, PES this machine will read and I think there's another P that it reads I saw it the other day it could be PCS but I know it also reads DST which is a sort of a generic alright so it stopped stopped so clip clip the yellow give me a red light over here pull the thread out first get it out of the way alright pull this thread off alright pull this thread off now it's asking for a 337 I haven't, I haven't used this one before and what I do with, with the new spools is I use a sharp pencil if you use something like this it'll push uh, your label off and without a label uh, you got sort of a problem without a label if for some reason uh, three of these the labels fell off and you don't know which is which you're going to have a problem <laughs> you know I never use this one. Alright. And right pulled it out. And right from the middle they got a piece of thread sticking up. That's poor quality control. I don't like that. But alright, 337 it goes up in the air. Then of course one up to Something happened. I didn't do it right. One up two. That would have screwed up. Over two, down to three. Down to three, up three, over four. Five down there, and then six is up above the needle bar, which my hand sort of. Alright, I got it in. I heard the little little sound <clears throat> so now bring this down I right through bring the press of foot down all right nope press the foot up because I gotta pull thread out I got about six inches there now now you need the green all right okay coming up to 45 minutes thread green light pull out your needle waste and this 
up, put it away, stow it. Nice. All right, asking for three ninety nine. Warm gray, they call this. See, I wouldn't call that a warm gray. It's one of the silver gray, but it is warm, sort of. When they say warm, it has sort of a hint of red in it. That's where they get the warm. Okay, now. I just went through six, now seven, let me clip it. Okay, throw it waste away. Thread the needle right through. Nice. Haven't missed once with the needle threading. I got a red light, so that means I could pull my uh, six, seven inches out of there. All right, I need a green light to stitch. And jump stitch right away, look at this. All right, let me clip that. Okay. Her foot up, red light, clip up here, pull this out. Alright, take this off, the warm gray. Alright, warm gray is there. Then I need 10, number 10. This is, uh, this could be, I'm not sure what it could be. There's, look at, look at the mess I got, look at the mess, the mess. Nobody move. I gotta, this, this is what happens when you don't put it tight, when you put it away. That's what happens. Get punished. Okay, this goes on. There. Now. One. Two. Down. Three. Up. Four. Down to four to five. Six is above the needle bar. All right. Seven is above the auto threader. Clip it. Take your three little deal away. Now you thread it, right? Another perfect threading. I right, pulled out about six inches. <clears throat> Green light. In the event you ever have your um, auto threader fall apart on you, you could still embroider. Just say it's a weekend or whatever. You, you don't see my video or you can't find it. You could thread the needle by hand, right? You know, like, uh, you know, like my mother had to do. Uh, okay, our green light. And a jump stitch, look at this. Right away, jump stitch. All right, eight, three, four stitches. Get this piece out of there. Wise guy.
51 minutes. So I think it's still gonna. I still think we're gonna go go past an hour, which is not what I want to do. All right, uh, the accent for I used this last night. Okay, I pull the thread out. Yes, I right, one down two up over two down to three up three to four down oh. Slipped down, down four to five and six is all above the needle bar. I heard it snap in seven, cut the th thread and it fell, out, it fell out of seven. So gotta go back, put it back in. All right, thread it and right through. And like I said, you smartly bring the lever down, uh, in other words, not slow and deliver it <clears throat> you bring it down and it snaps the purpose of it is the snapping portion all right bring this down green light go I got to I got to about four inches of thread is that enough sometimes if it isn't you wind up your needle thread comes out so pull an extra two inches I need a red light and I gotta pull the blue thread out and nobody said nothing. I was checking. I was checking. Nobody said a damn thing. Just sit there drinking their tea or whatever they drink. score so far. I pull out about mm, about six inches. Green light. A couple of stitches. Okay, stop it. Clip, clip that little dinger off there. Pull this down. Hey, move right along here. Fifty-five minutes. Fifty-six. I lied.
Yeah, the whites are quite involved in this design. And uh, my camera on the left, I got uh, a 64 minute tape, so I'm uh, reserving some of my time with the white. And uh, I'll continue with this camera when I get into the black. All right, we just started the black. But the black looks like it's quite involved. See that? That's the Tweety Bird, and that's the cat.
Bird ready to hit the hit the cat. Oh, that's the end. Look, we gotta we gotta go, folks. We gotta go over here. Put this light off. All right. You can see when it's finished. It tells you okay. See, and then you just hit okay. All right. And uh, uh, pull this up. It clipped it here, so I, I could just pull this right out. Sometimes you got to reach across. Okay. And, and this is what this is what we have. Okay. Everybody see this? It's nice. I'm nice. two cameras I, I gotta show this and two cameras and you take this off okay this rips off and you, you cut your you cut your jump stitches and you got a nice you got a nice embroidery there it's a nice uh, nice thing for the kids Okay, Vince Vicuri, and I thank everybody for watching. And uh, this this run uh, longer than I expected, but real time. You saw this in real time, and it, you know it took uh, hour and seventeen minutes. Vince Vicuri, thank you.